What is going on my fellow fish guys and fellow fish girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Before we hop into today's unboxing, I just got back from a quick fishing trip and I have some leftover live shrimp. As you all can see right here, I got some nice little live shrimp still alive. And I thought before the unboxing, let's go inside, feed that green moray eel, the lionfish, spike the puffer and hope he will eat for us. And you know what? Maybe we'll even drop one into all those amazing peacock bass we have. So I figured why not let all these shrimp go to waste when you guys can enjoy this sick feeding. So let's do it. All right, y'all, we're inside now. Check out that green Mario right here. Look at him. He is mean, he is green, and he's a killing machine, baby. Let's grab a shrimp from this bucket here. I'm gonna try to make it a bigger one. Let's see. I don't know if you'll have any interest in these shrimp, but I'm very interested to see if he can find it. So let's see what happens here. You ready, buddy? Dropping it in. Boom, it's in the water. It is in the water. It's going down. See, this is what I figured. See, he's going back behind the background. Okay. Well, Mr. Green Morial, you have a nice little meal right there for whenever you're ready. But we got some other bad boys in here that would love to eat a live shrimp, so let's feed this lionfish. Let's pop this lid open. There's the file fish right there. He is so mean. Look at that. He wants the finger. Then you got the lionfish right here. Another file up there and the yellow-headed more eel. Let's grab a shrimp. Ooh, booyah. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect, ready buddy? Here we go. Whoa, that thing just flew out of the tank. Engaged, engaged. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's in the back, no. The file fish is trying to get it. He's scooting it along the back. No, no. Oh my God, you know who's gonna get it then? You know who's gonna get it then? Oh, there it is, right here. Right there, see him? Oh baby, they're on it. They're, oh, oh. Oh my God, look who sees it. Oh, oh my God, this is absolutely crazy. Oh, oh my God, it's right here, screw Look at the lionfish, he's looking for it, but the shrimp is literally all the way over here. The filefish just shredded that shrimp. Jeez, buddy. This is your last try, buddy. Here you go. Oh, okay, he might eat this one. Oh, he might eat this one, guys. Oh, he might eat this one. He's definitely looking at it. He's definitely looking at it. Smack him! Well, this is quite interesting. Literally, the only guy that wants to eat is this guy right here. Look, here he goes again. He's trying to get it, but it's taking refuge underneath the lionfish. I realize why the lionfish isn't eating because look at the belly on him. Somebody fed him good, so that's why he's not eating. That yellow-headed moray eel that lives underneath that rock will go ahead and clean these two up eventually. Now let's just grab a wee baby guy, and you know where we gotta drop it. These fellas right here would love this. Are you guys ready? Here you go. I think this is gonna be pretty quick. Ooh. Oh, Tiny the Savage didn't even let it get down to the bottom. And now everybody wants to get it out of his mouth. Look at the Azul. But Tiny, guys, he's not so tiny anymore. Look at him. Suck that thing down. Giraffe nose right there. Flagtail. Orinoco Meta. Tamensis. The Albino Arowana. The Azul. This tank looks so amazing. We're going to go drop a shrimp to Spike. See if he'll eat it for us. And then we're unboxing. All right, here's Spike right here. He likes to just sit on the cave structure right there with those rocks. We got Turbo right here. And we got our live shrimp right here. Let's go ahead and grab one of these puppies. One, which one do you, we should we feed? I'm gonna choose you right here. Spike, this is a big moment for you, man. It's about 50-50. Some people want me to keep you and some people want me to get rid of you. So let's see what you do to this live shrimp. Three, two, one, shrimp is engaged. Shrimp is engaged. It's completely engaged and he's going straight to turbo. That is not a smart move by him whatsoever because turbo's a savage and we all know it. But if turbo gets flared up on it, then maybe Spike, who's the most boring puffer on planet Earth, maybe we'll get flared up. Oh, oh, Turbo's pissed. You can always rely on Turbo. Turbo always gives us the action. Oh, going for the tail. Turbo, oh, Turbo. Oh my God, it's going straight to Spike. Oh my God, he's scared of the shrimp. Wait, wait, wait a second, y'all. Wait a second, y'all. Wait a second, y'all. Y'all, wait a second here. He's looking back. Oh, Spike just freaking crushed the shrimp! Oh my god! 
That is the first time we have seen Spike eat ever. Look at that beast. All right, buddy, maybe we are gonna keep you. We might just have to keep you, Turbo's like, let me get some of that shrimp, buddy. Nope, Spike ate the whole thing, the whole freaking shrimp. I'm gonna give you another one, buddy. Give me another one of these guys. Nice little guy right here, drop it in. Come on, Spike, can you do it again for us, Spike? Turbo? Oh my God, Turbo's a savage. Come on, Spike, come get it, come get it, Spike. Come on, Spike. I know you just ate one, so maybe you're not too hungry, but tr a true pufferfish would eat again. Oh my God, Turbo is teaching that thing a freaking lesson, okay? A freaking lesson. Looks like Turbo's gonna be eating this one. That's a good little meal for him. And we gotta give Spike a round of applause. He finally ate for us. Well done, buddy. Well, that's a great sign. Spike's eating for us. We tried the live crab. We tried the live snail. We tried frozen shrimp. And what he wanted all along was a live shrimp. The comments were back and forth. Keep them, don't keep them. My heart is torn. I wanna have a puffer that's gonna destroy everything that I put in there, not just live shrimp. So we'll see what happens, but we're gonna head outside now and we're gonna unbox this fish because believe it or not, this fish is going inside here. Let's do it. All right, it is time for the best part of the video. We have our unboxing here. Now, we got a little twist to this unboxing. First things first, I gotta let you guys all know that Predatory Fins, Rodrigo of Predatory Fins is starting to get in saltwater shipments right here. I have one of those fish that he got in. I saw it on Instagram. He got a bunch of groupers in. I told Brooke, I said, Brooke, listen, go to the store. Buy me a grouper, don't tell me what it is. Here's a box, throw it in it, because guess what? The thrill of unboxing something, it feels like Christmas morning every single time. Now, if you want that thrill, you can head over to fishguy.shop and get yourself a mystery box for Christmas because it is so much fun to unbox stuff. Sadly, there's no fish in the Fish Guy mystery box because you know what? We don't own a fish store, but right here, we have a brand new fish. So it's some sort of grouper. Now, he had blue spot groupers, he had blue line groupers, he had mini audits groupers. What are we gonna have in here? Where only one person knows and that's manager Brooke. So let's go ahead, cut this puppy open. Handy dandy key right down the middle. <sighs> let's see, I'm so excited to see what this is because you know what, I want, I've want. i wanted a grouper, I told you all I want a grouper for the tank. And you know what, Rod got some in. Brooke, thank you Brooke for going over there and doing this for me because guess what, I want to do an unboxing video for you guys so much because you guys love them and I absolutely love not knowing what I have inside here and unboxing it. So pretty much, it's a normal unboxing video for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this. Ready for this? Oh, nice packaging, Brooke. Very nice. What do we got? Here's our bag. What do we have here? Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my God, I gotta take this first bag off. You guys, are, oh my God, hang on. Oh my God, you guys. Check out that fish right there. The blue line grouper. He's about five inches. Look at the speckles on his face. The blue lines, he is vibrant and he's been in this bag for a little bit. So I can't even wait to see what he, what he looks like when he gets into the 55. But Rod said, listen, I can get any saltwater fish that you want pretty much. So you know what? Let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see me get for that 55 gallon tank. Now remember, what we do with the peacocks? We got them small, we grew them out, we put them in a bigger tank. We can do the same thing now, but with saltwater fish. And the first one on our agenda is going to be this beautiful blue line grouper right here. Let's go inside and get this guy acclimating to the new tank. We got Turbo and Spike in there waiting for some new friends. So we'll see you guys inside. Oh my God, I almost just lost my freaking head. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever been that close to losing my head ever. Well, aside from just about losing my head, we have our blue line grouper right here. I am actually, I haven't been this fired up to get a new fish in so long. That fish is absolutely unreal. I mean, get a close up of that guy. Look at that face. The groupers, I don't know what it is about them, but they just scream badass. That's really it. Those things are just sick. I'm gonna get him acclimating now and we're gonna get him into this tank and he's gonna look so awesome. All right, we are all acclimated. You guys can see him down there on the bottom. Now I wanna get him inside this tank as quickly as possible because guess what? He's got a beautiful little den there that I'm sure he cannot wait to get to. So let's get this new fish that I'm absolutely stoked about in the tank. Here he is, y'all. Let's get him inside here as quickly as possible. Come on, buddy, get in there. All right, he's in. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna go straight to the rocks. Oh wait, maybe he's not. Look at that fish, you guys. Oh my God, he's perfect size. He's really not that much bigger than Turbo, so there really should be no problem in here. Check that guy out. Now that, my friends, is a fish that I've been waiting to have for a very long time. There he is, he's gonna go find a little hole in this den. Now I do still need to get a little bit more rock structure going on, but we got him hiding right back there. He's gonna be so sick to feed. The feeding video is gonna be crazy. Look at that fish. Look at the face on that guy. 
Oh my god, you guys. Check that thing out. We got him. We got Turbo right there. What's up, dude? See, you guys can see they're pretty same size in comparison. And then we got Spike way back in there. But check out that fish now. I told him I want a mini auto scooper the same size as him. Now, if you guys want that fish, let me know down below. Or if you have some other ideas, let me know down below. Robert said he could pretty much get just about anything. So leave it down below. Also, we need a sick name for this guy. That is such an awesome fish, you guys. Enjoy him right now. Well, there's our newest addition to the saltwater tank. Now, you guys all know that I love the crazy stuff, the exotic stuff, as you guys can see from my peacock collection and that freshwater collection that started in here. You guys already know the saltwater is gonna be just as freaking good, if not better. Leave some fish down below that you guys wanna see go in here. Maybe an emperor snapper, just let me know down below. The, f the options are endless. We're still gonna go out and catch some stuff for this tank as well. I told you guys that, we you know what, we gotta get some groupers because groupers you can't go out and catch and bring home legally without them being a certain size. Like these ones are small, so you gotta get these from the aquarium stores. But there's one last look at him. He's gonna go ahead and warm up to the tank. As you guys can see, he's relatively small compared to everybody else. And he's got plenty of room to grow. I am obsessed with him. The feeding video is gonna be unreal. Leave a name for him down below. Smash a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And now we're gonna do some Discord shout outs and some YouTube shout outs. From YouTube, shout out to Colton Washburn. And from the Discord, shout out to Fish Guy Wayne. I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for the support. It means the world to me. I'll be catching you guys in that next video. Peace out.